It's my on. decision to extend the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. resources are running out and we have to come up with alternative sources that is a given however as you can see from the uh, uh, the corn issue and the ethanol um, I don't see the biomass is really much different we had all this publicity and all this marketing and all this information saying how wonderful and terrific is ethanol going to be for us well, frankly speaking, it was only for a very few people, those who were part of the movement and those who were growing the corn, that made out like bandits. The rest of us, like ourselves, who are farmers, and everybody who eats cereal and uses corn oil to bake with and has to feed their animals, it has not been good for us because everything has gone up. So we all have to pay the price for all the money that those few people made. <coughs> Biomass, in my view, is no different. I think there is a term that they have come up with, which is a very nice sounding term of biomass, but I mark my words that there is not enough biomass to generate the kind of fuel that we need in order to have a, an alternative fuel source. And so then what is going to happen? These twisted oak folks are going to come in here. They're going to get the permits. They're going to set up shop. They're going to say, oh, gee, we don't have enough biomass. And then what? we got to keep them going. They're in the door. You can't shut them down. It's too damn expensive. So what do you do? Well, we gosh, we got to get a variance now so we can incinerate garbage. You all need to open your minds about finding out the truth. Don't just take their word for it. Do your due diligence. If you, in each and every one of you, did your due diligence, I can guarantee you that you would not come up with a yes vote on this proposal. I think the only reason why they're here is because they're guaranteed a whole lot of subsidies from the federal government. Huh. Do you all know how long those subsidies are going to last? I don't know about you, but the last time I saw our federal government is bankrupt. And they might get a, a several million dollars right now, but what's going to happen next year or in five years? They are going to leave you high and dry. They're going to get their money like so many other companies have, and they're going to hightail it out of town you're going to have a white elephant on your hands, and you're going to have to deal with the financial fallout, and you're going to have to deal with the health implications. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to put your rubber stamp on this? What if one of your children ended up getting cancer or developed serious asthma conditions, and you didn't have health care, and you 
see that child suffering, you think that you're going to be so happy with Twisted Oak when they're out of town with their money? I don't think so. I think you all have to really think twice about this. We got rid of it in Crawford County for a damn good reason. 